uh, units that we are going to cover. First is about the uh, introduction, okay? Uh, and um, in introduction, we will cover about what is ECM, what is FileNet, what are the different products in FileNet. And uh, there are two um, uh, UI products from FileNet. One is called the Workplace XT, and one is called the, the newer one is called the IBM Content Navigator or ICN, right? So we will deal with both Workplace XT and IBM Content Navigator. So okay. uh, Workplace XT is an older product, but then sometimes very useful for administration jobs, especially uh, when it comes to processes, especially uh, there are some tools which are yet to be useful in Workplace XT. Uh, but IBM Content Navigator is the UI which basically deals with all sorts of uh, 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 the new UI, which is built on Dojo framework. And that is by IBM. Okay. And it is again, highly, uh, uh, you can say, uh, con uh, configurable and, and uh, customizable, right, over the time. Now, uh, the other uh, introduction to ECM and my IBM FileNet P8, and majorly we will be dealing with FileNet P8 5.1, right? 5.1 version. So if you see IBM FileNet, uh, we have uh, uh, majorly IBM FileNet P8 started with uh, or really became uh, a large product from 3.0. 3.0 onwards, they have multiple versions, 3.5, 4.0, 4.5, 5.1, and 5.2, okay? But uh, we will be restricting ourselves, which is more in the industry is 5.1, and we will talk, be talking more about the 5.1 version, which has the, has the uh, same architectural concept over the time, but over the time it has changed. Only in architecture session, we will be dealing with all the versions of FileNet just to give you a view how, you know, FileNet has changed over the time. The second session, although, you know, many people don't at all deal with this, okay, is the architecture session because you have to understand the internal wires of, of any system to actually make the system look working, right? So uh, architecture wise, we will be talking about the N layered architecture. There are four layer architecture in, in FileNet. What are the different layers, how it works? And we will talk about the different you know, high, mid and low level views of architecture. And then there are three engines of FileNet, Content Engine, Process Engine, Application Engine. And we will be talking about each one of them, how they interact with each other, how they talk to each other, individual architecture, and other engines like Rendition Engine and so on, other supporting engines around the FileNet. So architecture session will deal with all this, right? Fine. Any questions so far? No, no. Okay. Now uh, about uh, now to talk about content. So content, as you know, uh, the ECM when you say it is enterprise content management, and FileNet is an enterprise content management tool, right? So the main branch of uh, FileNet becomes content process and connectivity. So now, if we are talking about content, content becomes the biggest part, uh, uh, widespread part of FileNet. And we will talk about introduction about the business objects, okay? How we, we basically add documents, deal with documents of different view, editing properties, security of uh, versioning, folders filed in, history information page, et cetera, et cetera. All that we will basically uh, in different UI, how it looks, how we can basically manage this, administer it also, I will say. Okay. Then one of the very important concept of FileNet is the versioning concept. So as you know, in enterprise content management, one of the 
important concept is versioning how you are managing document so when we are talking about document management system we'll talk about how documents can be managed how the documents versioning is done check out check in etc etc i mean that is a concept called file net save which we will introduce also then uh, what is how do we administer content engine content engine it's it's the main engine that deals with the content so how do we do the administration of content engine there is a tool called file net enterprise manager there is also a tool called acc but we will deal with mainly file net enterprise manager file net enterprise manager is the very uh, a .NET based uh, administration file net administration tool you which will be used to basically administer the content engine the different parts and it's a huge tool so we need to have different things okay how classes and uh, now uh, one of the important concept is uh, uh, the inheritance classes class properties okay objects so basically file net works on the java concepts java concepts come here you know it is not uh, java concepts so it's basically let's say that it is a uh, file net works on a inheritance concept right so let's say that you when we are talking about inheritance we'll talk about it okay uh, a generic inheritance concept anything in file net is called as object right business object now <laughs> when we are talking about um, uh, objects in the file net we classify them okay and the art of classification is called taxonomy we'll talk about that also what is taxonomy what is classification what is metadata okay so art of classification is called taxonomy now let's say that you have in the world if i have to tell you okay classify automobiles right classify automobiles what would your answer be if i generally say classify any automobiles hmm. So what automobile. would be your answer? Automobiles, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, or you say the uh, vehicles, vehicles, no, right? Vehic uh, that uh, that I understood. Classification means uh, we can have to uh, like a bike, a car, uh, okay, okay. Uh, heavy heavy load vehicles like a lorry. Yeah. Uh, this way we can go. Okay. Further. See mm -hmm. if. Uh, if basically if you see your thinking is now confined to only roadways right all that you spoke about is about roadways but yeah. actually roadways is not the only mode of transport right so very high level if we start okay then it okay. comes roadways railways airways and waterways right in roadways yeah. you can talk about two wheeler four wheeler uh, okay. six wheeler eight wheeler etc etc right mm -hmm. i like the and and different types of classification you can do like you can say lmv htv etc so and then in the railways again there is goods and passenger etc etc so ideally that's why i always say that this classification is such an art if we learn really how to classify in file net okay or in e enterprise content management the most of the business problems are solved because the right way of classification for example when okay. we are talking classifying document and let's say we are in banking right in banking we can we can classify documents in 100 different ways okay in uh, say in insurance in insurance also we can define in 100 different ways what actually helps us in how best easiest the best way we classify and how best we put those objects in place in such a way that my my that uh, serves the business purpose okay of the business i am dealing with whether it is banking insurance all any any major um, verticals you take this the small classification and classes etc etc it's very very important role yeah you got so i just gave you an example so 
um, this will actually clarify how basically the say insurance industry okay and then talk about uh, how real time we can classify documents in insurance etc right yeah okay uh, do you provide everything to me yeah yeah i mean uh, definitely i mean uh, uh, we have to take real time scenarios and work right yeah okay okay hmm. and then we will uh, talk about what a choice list property templates these are all concepts of filenet class definitions you know and bottom up approach of classification and event subscription uh, one very important uh, uh, topic for all administrators is the uh, uh, the uh, content storage options what are the different content storage options especially for administrators how how basically you know content can be stored in filenet etc etc we will talk about okay okay yeah and then coming to the process part the second uh, branch of enterprise content management deals with process and process uh, when we talk about process it is basically depicting any uh, any uh, practical business process okay into a a flow or concept right and that's what is called a workflow okay so workflow concepts working with the task okay reading workflow map working with workflow definitions managing workflows basically very important for administrators would be managing workflows there are several tools called uh, first is the pro process services i have given by filenet okay and then is the different tools called process configuration pro console process tracker process administrator how to use all this to make sure that you actually uh, administer workflow right okay. yeah and mm -hmm. then finally we will talk about the security concepts in filenet okay, okay. and security uh, any enterprise content management especially filenet security is very very an important concept and there are multiple concepts in uh, security right there are multiple uh, concepts in security basically authentication in filenet how it is done it is generally done by the directory services okay maybe active directory or ldap or all authorization uh, uh, how do we do what are the different sources of security how this the security uh takes precedence and we have wonderful sessions on on all this content process security and all that we have wonderful sessions how you basically administer all this together to you you so that you call yourself as a filenet administrator right okay